Ooh, look at Maggie's eyes. Hello! Hello and welcome to part, I think this is part 10 of my Simpsons game Let's Play. This is Mr. Muckluckable and uh, we are playing the mission called Bargain Bin today. Very short mission I think. So let's get on with it. This must be the level boss for this part of the game. The boss! Quick! Everyone look busy! Guys, look. The hatch opens after every four laser bursts. That's the weak spot when we need to fire. Hey, Kodos. That ugly kid's right. Why are we exposing our weak spot after every four laser bursts? You're right. Why do we even need to expose our weak spot at all? Thanks for the heads up, Earth dumbass. Screw fighting one family. Why don't we just blow up the whole town? They can't stop us from doing that. Sounds good to space me. Do something. These space octopuses are gonna get jiggy all over Springfield. Did I use jiggy line? Sorry. Cheat guide doesn't have any more upgrades. Wait, I know another way we can cheat. The internet. Uh, of course, the internet. That's where I cheat for school. Cheating. Is there anything it can't do? Check it out. They have a walkthrough for a game called The Simpsons Game. Bartman, eating contest, alien invasion, slaughtering dolphins. It's describing everything we've done all day. But what does it say we have to do next? Nothing, I hope. Well, it says that we need to find... Ruben, I want to play solitaire. I believe there's another cutscene. So, um, goodbye again. a video game this is the factory where it was made that's ridiculous i'm not a video game character i'm a real life person with dreams and feelings ah! yeah, all right fine i'm a video game guy now can i ask a question if this is a video game where do we put the quarters <gasps> oh my god it's a nerd that's right the nerdiest nerd in the computer verse <laughs> Will Wright, designer of Sim City and The Sims. Don't forget my biggest flop, Sim Sandwich. Its failure drove me mad. Mad! That's why I live here now, finding a home for old games nobody plays anymore. Video games are about what's new, and the old is better off forgotten. Any of these fellows look familiar? We look so pixely. And poorly rendered. Which one is supposed to be me? Don't destroy them. They may be obsolete, but they're still alive. Help! It's crazy! If he destroys us, we'll never escape from Krusty Island. I'm Marge. You can't do this. Of course I can. I'm Will Wright, bitch. And pretty soon, when there's a new, better Simpsons video game than the one you're from, I'll destroy you too. Ha 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 ha. Oh, okay, we're back, and this bit is timed, as you can see in that corner, so we're going to hurry up. Um, but yeah, this is quite a strange mission, as we're all right, waving at us. Um, but actually, uh, from watching that cutscene, it reminded me of a game I had for the Nintendo Entertainment System, all that time ago. Uh, and it was it was kind of like a crusty game, crusty the clown game, but, but with lemmings. I can't remember the name of it though. But it was um, no, oh, run out of power. But it was a good game. You were you were Bart, I think. Ah, oh. and here we are. Here's a perfect way to show you the cliche. Expect to play plagiarism from Wiley E. 
Coyote. Yeah, I said that bit wrong. Um, <laughs> uh, right. Now, Homer's bottle cap is down there, but Bart might follow us, and we need to go up there first, so Homer will not get in our way. Let's go around this corner to find the first crusty coupon. And actually, as, as you can see there, there's only four for Bart and three for Homer, so very small amount in this mission because it's such a short one. I think the expected time is two minutes. We're not going to do that, but uh, oh well. Grab that. Now we need Bart again to shoot the target. Now, um, something I want to bring up is I was watching a few uh, Let's Plays of this game on YouTube. I mean, who doesn't compare their own work to other things? By the way, Bart's thing is just to the right as you cross that bridge. Uh, I was watching some Let's Plays, and um, one of them was... I, I don't know who the person was, but the the actual game was on the Xbox 360. And uh, I couldn't believe the... Uh, well, I could... I make it sound as if the PlayStation 2 had amazing graphics, but there's a huge... There's a huge difference. Not just in graphics, because obviously the Xbox is going to have far greater capabilities. But like, just small things like the placement of... Um, bottle caps and, and animation. By the way, when you uh, grapple hook onto this bit, this box right in the corner is where Bart's next coupon is. There we are. That's three already. Homer. Homer's is on here. So if you take this helium and float all the way up, you should see a platform. It's on there. Yeah, but um, I was just really surprised about how, how much how nice it looked really, how nice the game looked because I do remember being quite disappointed when I first played this game um, and saw the that's Homer's and there's Bart's there how nice just to put them right next to each other I first played this game and I just saw all the kind of jaggy jaggy? yeah, jaggy lines with it like especially on the oh, I think we need to go up Especially on the uh, chocolate level, I just couldn't. I was like, oh, I thought it'd be all nice and smooth. And I suppose it doesn't look that bad. But on the Xbox, it's really like 60 frames, blah blah blah, all smooth edges rendered. Has nice shadows as well on the Xbox game. And I did actually think about before I started this let's play, should I buy it on Xbox 360? But I thought no, let's stay true to uh, stay true to how I played it before when I got it four years ago now so um, and I'm sure I hope you don't I hope people who watch this don't care about the graphics and, and just enjoy the game I hope if you don't then go watch the other one I don't know what his name is so just find it yourself um oh what oh I thought we'd just done the level but it turns out we were too slow there's me ranting away and I don't realise the time let me cut forward to when to where I was at that stage. See you then. Okay, we're back to roughly where we were. I mean, look, I've got two minutes to spare now. It's just how slow I was before. Um, yeah, so we press these buttons and I thought that the mission had ended. But I forgot you have to press this lever first. And then the mission will end. This isn't right. Who put you up to this? What's with those jerks at EA? They hate me, you know. They're all jealous of me. Jealous, I told you. Okay, let's have a look. 5, 57, 68. They are two minutes as a target time. It's, you, I think that's doable. It's really quite easy. If you don't rant away and not look at the time. Um. Let's see, four out of four, three out of three, one death. Oh, I was so close to getting no deaths. And the cliche, remember, is just falling into the chasm. Uh, there's a cutscene after this, I know, so I'm going to shut up for then and end the video. But um, the next part, the next part is where it starts to get fun. I like these next few missions. For example, the next one is NeverQuest, the kind of, um, well, EverQuest parody. So, I shall see you then. Bye.
Oh, you have to kind of watch this auto save then. And then, goodbye. This is like those places where people used to see movies before video piracy was invented. Oh, oh. Hey, thanks for helping us save our 8-bit selves. I had to do so many double jumps, I'm really tired. You like donuts too? Sure do. You want one? Um. Excellent. You're all right, old weird version of me. Attention, Smooth Simpsons. We've been around this complex for a long time and bring a warning. Cowabunga. One day, your video game, too, will be obsolete. No way. The Simpsons game is awesome. Just because every video game up until now has been destroyed and forgotten doesn't mean ours will be. Fine, she's right. I mean, I'm right. We're both right. No video game is safe from an industry that's always chasing the hot new thing. Sure, the Simpsons game is great with its unique upgradable character abilities and its hilarious self-referential cutscenes. But what about when the Xbox 720 comes out or the PlayStation 4? No one will want to play us then. Damn this godforsaken place! Video game making nerds are getting rich and all I can do is die and die and die and die! Each death more painful than the last! <laughs> but what can we do? We're just highly rendered pixels in a universe we can't control. Even as we speak, Springfield is being destroyed by a hackneyed alien invasion premise. Though, somehow it's not a cliche when it's happening to you. Yeah, we don't even know whose butt to kick. There is one place you can go. The mansion of the creator. He created all of these worlds. Maybe he can end this pointless cycle of destruction. The creator, eh? I'm gonna triple combo punch his fat, nerdy face. Karate! Don't have a cow, man. You still say that, right? I hope so. The only way to get through the gate is to go into each of the new Simpsons games being developed by the creator. Once you're inside each game, you need to find a key card. Only the four key cards will combine to open the gate. Key cards? That is the lamest video game BS I've ever heard. Why aren't we doing something cool, like collecting multicolored shard keys? That would be totally different and awesome! Cowabunga! Let's get to it, video game. Let's go give this creator a piece of our minds. And save Springfield. 